Shazam. Like go swimming with bow leg women. Hey there dudes, and do that's welcome to another edition of Cooking with the Duke, hosted by y'all truly T-Bone Tukey Duke Papa Duke, aka the Duke. Today's episode we're brewing another batch of ginger ale. And this time we have infused it and infused it <laughs> with chili pepper. Let's do this. Okay, people, our first ingredient is our ginger bug, <laughs> which we ain't covering in today's video. You can find this on my other video. Link is in the description below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, you can see it's raining canines and felines out here in South Gilly. Perfect conditions for brewing up some chili ginger ale beer. <laughs> okay, so we got a small bowl of mixed chilies, and we're going to bring a pot up to boil, and we've got our big two handfuls of fresh ginger. We're going to grate this up and we're going to make what is called a ginger tea. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to grate up all that. Oh, that ginger looking good and we're going to add it to our pot. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to add a cup or so of sugar. In fact, the more sugar you add, the more alcoholic it is, so we'll throw in a little extra. <laughs> okay, now we're going to chop up our chilies. They're all washed and ready to go, and you know I love a good chili chopping party. <laughs> Although we don't need to chop them up too fine today, because that's just going to straighten our teeth. People, I do apologize. I was so excited about this that I forgot to film <laughs> throwing the chilies in. Anyway, you can see legit that the chili peppers are indeed in the tea. <laughs> now our tea is come to a gentle boil about 10 minutes later we're gonna just turn it down and let it simmer oh there you go you can see that one's that didn't make the pot chili's in and going <laughs> I'm gonna throw in a little bit of lime juice just to give it a little fresh kick <laughs> oh yeah give it a little stir oh yeah we're looking good in the meanwhile we'll get the rest of our bottling equipment sterilized and ready to go <laughs> What we need to do now, our tea has come down to room temperature. We want to strain her off and make sure there's no little bits of, you know, anything chili pepper or uh, ginger flakes floating around in our uh, brew. Because, I mean, as much as we like chili peppers, we don't want to see a little bit of anything floating around in our little beer glass. <laughs> I mean, I know I love ginger and chili, uh, chili peppers is just as much the next guy, but you don't want to see seeds or nothing floating around. <laughs> so we strain it off, that looks good. Sometimes it's good to even, you know, refine this process and do it over twice and really make sure you got nothing in there. But that's looking pretty good. I can't see anything, even though that is quite cloudy. Next, we reach for our bug. Oh yeah, that's it, people. So this is kind of like a sourdough has a bug or a uh, uh, starter dough. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to strain that off as well. We're ready to bottle up. Yeah, what we want to do is inoculate our tea with our little bug. Yeah, we're going to throw in as much of that as we want. I, I think I may just throw in the whole bunch. <laughs> Stir it up. And now we're ready to bottle up, people. We are making chili, ginger, beer, ale, whatever you want to call it. It is looking pretty cloudy actually <laughs> like I said and we're gonna leave these uh, at room temperature for about three days which it has now been and we're gonna put those now for a couple days in the refrigerator <laughs> okay okay dudes and do that uh, has been three days in the refrigerator and uh, that makes six days total since we made our tea it's time to put the taste to the test <laughs> I'm gonna sit down because uh, I don't want anything to happen like last time Oh boy. Here we go. No, 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 wait, people. Let's try that again. <laughs> people have to admit this is actually even better than I was expecting. I love the kick from the chili as well as the hit from the alcoholic ginger beer. I would definitely recommend that you give this a try at home. That's just about all we have time for, people. Thank you very much for tuning in. Remember, till next time, feed that hunger. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, people, or say hello and leave a little comment or give her a like or a share. Shazam!